The proofs for the formulas of logs, we're going to start with the addition. As always, we're working the left hand side, and I'm going to get x equal log to base c of a. That means that c to the power x has to be a. If we let y equal log to base c of b, then c to the power y has to equal b. Multiplying c to the power x times c to the power y would equal a times b. And c to the power x times c to the power y is c to the power x plus y equals a times b. If we rewrite that in log form, the log to base c of a times b has to equal x plus y. And I previously defined x to be log to base c of a and y to be log to base c of b. So that's my first proof. Second formula then is our subtraction and we start this again. We introduce a variable and write log to base c of a is x so c to the power x is a. We then call y log to base c of b so c to the power y is b. This time I'm going to divide. c to the power x divided by c to the power y would have to be a divided by b. That's c to the power x minus y is a over b. I'm writing it as a log. Log to base c of a over b has to equal x minus y. And x was log to base c of a. And y was log to base c of b. Starting on the left hand side, I'm going to let x equal log to base c of a to the power n, which means that c to the power x is a to the power n. I'm going to take the nth root of both sides, so c to the power x to the power 1 over n equals a to the power n to the power 1 over n. c to the power x over n equals a. Rewrite that as a log. Then the log to base c of a equals x over n, which means that x is n log to base c of a, and our x we defined at the start as log to base c of a to the power n. So I've proved my third formula. I'm going to let x equal log to base c of a. So c to the power x has to be a. I'm going to take logs to base b of both sides. So log to base b of c to the power x equals log to base b of a. Using the third law, which we've just proved, I can now write the x. Log to base b of c equals log to base b of a, which means that x is log to base b of a all over log to base b of c and that x is log to base c of a. So again I've proved my formula.